everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. I am over 55. Let's just leave it at that. Um, and I love makeup and shoes and fashion and anything related to all three. And so today I'm actually going to do a morning prep and an evening prep skin routine and show you what I normally do. Um, I've had a couple people recently ask me about my skincare and which is very flattering because goodness knows I see more wrinkles in my face every time I look at it but I am grateful nonetheless because um, it could be worse but um, I have been taking pretty good care of my skin for the last I don't know 20 years um, I will say when I was younger, I did not though. I spent a lot of time in the sun, which is why I have some of the age spots that I have and some of the wear and tear. Um, and I noticed it even more on my, on my hands and my chest. Um, but I did start taking good care of my skin about 20 years ago and, um, I have tried just about everything out there. And so I'm going to show some of my favorites and I'm actually going to share with you some products from Refer which I don't know if you knew, like Refer is an amazing company for their makeup brushes. I've been using their makeup brushes for a while now. In fact, it was probably, probably about a year ago um, that I finally broke down. I was like, I'm gonna buy them because everybody on YouTube has them and um, so glad I did. But recently they had a sale and they also had um, some face creams and some skincare products and I tried them and I fell in love with them. In fact, I would say one of them is a dupe for La Mer and I love La Mer. It's just, I can't afford La Mer on a teacher salary, um, but I do love it. So anyway, um, I have nothing on my face. I have washed it um, completely bare of anything. Um, normally what I do in the morning is I do start out with my vitamin C. Oh, where is my vitamin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to use the glasses, of course. So, I actually came across this vitamin C on a YouTube video. I forgot who I what saw that had it. But it's prescribed solutions, um, and I really, really love this. It is my second bottle. It's called the Line Subtractor. I don't know. I, I feel like it just it works really, really well, and I would strongly encourage this. So I usually start by putting just a little drop on my face, um, kind of patting it in, and then another thing that again I someone showed me on YouTube and I'm on my second bottle it I wish I could remember her name I will I will find out her name and I'll add it um, but um, she also does some great videos but this is the gin drink song and this is my second bottle that I'm opening because I went through my first I will say it lasts pretty pretty long I mean I'm I'm pretty liberal with how I use it, but um, oh, I hate these little these things on the end that close them off because I can never get them off. Uh, and I have to pull out my little handy dandy scissors. Okay, I might cut this part out of the recording. Ah, there we go. So, um, looks kind of like this. And it's a Korean, very liquidy, um, just... I guess like a serum. Um, I don't know if you really call it a serum. I think they call it a lotion. Um, not like our typical lotion, but um, I really love it. I feel like it does help with keeping my skin very moist. I have very, very dry skin um, and the drier it gets, the more the wrinkles show. And another thing that is an absolute must that like I would die if I couldn't use is my hyaluronic acid and I use the ordinaries um, this stuff is like live or die for I mean it makes such a huge difference so I usually put um, running low on this as well about maybe a half a dropper full on my skin and again just kind of patting it in um, I love this stuff 
I just feel like it works so well. So I'm really just kind of patting it in, um, rubbing it a little bit. And um, I do like to mix a lot of different things. I'm, I don't really know. Some of the stuff I really feel like works. Um, and The Ordinary has some really great products. I like to use this EU, I believe it is what it's called. Let's see, it's EUK-134 um, High Potency Antioxidant Formula. So this is, the next couple things are antioxidants. So I just put like literally like two little tiny drops because it's, it's kind of thick. It's like an oil feeling. Um, so I really just do like one or two drops. And then the other antioxidant that I use is this uh, absorbable tetra salp uh, I am not gonna even pretend I can say this salp sal okay tetra salpalmite miltate ah I'm totally destroyed that and I am an English teacher I you know if it's anything even potentially close to any kind of science I'm doomed and that's a scientific thing for me. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit ditzy too. Yeah, so it's a sorbal tetra sulfamitate. Tetra Okay, so it's okay. So it's sorbal tetramisulmitrate. I don't know if I said that right. Solution. Um, it is also a high strength oil vitamin C derivative and vitamin F. So again, another thing I kind of use as a antioxidant, again, only maybe one or two drops pressed in to the skin. So it's not too heavy for my makeup. And then the last thing of course is my B oil from Ordinary. Um, I like to use this as well. I just started getting into the antioxidants. I don't know, maybe six months ago or so um, because I definitely just feel like the environment puts wear and tear on our skins. Now, you know, my day moisturizer kind of ranges. Um, I have always been a fan of the Regenere um, Lancome. And so sometimes I combine that with my CeraVe because I do like CeraVe. You know, I love expensive um, creams but the CeraVe is pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the Regenerate on. I don't put much um, and just kind of rub it into my skin. Um, it's supposed to help with tightening. I don't know that it does, but I use it. I like the way it smells. I like the way it feels. I don't know how the efficacy of it, just like the, the next thing I'm going to show you, this Trivectin Neck Cream. Um, I started using this about a year ago. Again, not sure if it's very effective, but because I'm becoming so very aware of the draping, drooping, sagging, I tend to, you know, put it on because... If it's worth a try, you know, if it's a possibility, I'm going to use it. So anyway, that is usually it. I think I'm going to try because I mentioned earlier Refer. I love this so much. I went out and I bought two more bottles because it was so good. It's an intense hydration cream. Now, normally I use this at night and I also use, I bought by Refer and I just love their packaging. They're so unique. Um, this rebalancing essence that has the niacinamide, which I usually like to put on at night. Um, so I'll put some of this on at night with the intense hydration cream, but I'm going to try a little bit of this today, um, with my makeup and see how it works. It's very, it, the texture of it really does remind me of La Mer. Um, it, it, it operates very much like La Mer. Like if you rub it together and just, it kind of emulsifies in your, in your hands. And, um, I don't know, you know, the only thing that I don't particularly, the only downside, and a lot of you will see this as an upside because is the scent. I love the scent of La Mer. Um, I just love it. And just like Nivea or Nevia, I love that scent. But 
this it doesn't have any scent at all which some people would probably really really like and it is just such a good moisturizer i mean i'm telling you if you have not tried refers intense moisturizer and again i'm a little more i put quite a bit oh, quite a bit i mean i put about a quarter size on it at night um but you know I didn't want to put too much under my makeup today. Again, I normally put the Lancome and then I'll maybe add the CeraVe or I'll do the CeraVe first and then the Lancome. Um, but I do, as you can tell, really try to prep my skin. Um, and then I'm not done. I have to do my, um, my sunscreen. And I've used a lot of good sunscreens out there, but... Recently, I went to my um, dermatologist and I decided to try um, this brand. It is HA Sunshine Chemical Free SP44. Now, one of the reasons that I love it, it is 44 as far as the protection, but it's tinted, it's got a glow to it, and it plays very nicely with makeup because a lot of times you know like ugh, for instance I, I will link home I have their CC cream that's supposed to be like 50 SPF that I'll sometimes use when I go to the pool but it does not play nicely with other makeup at all um but this like it just in one little squirt that's it and then I kind of just press it in to my skin and I it's got like this nice glow about it and I just, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is everything I do before my makeup. And then of course we have primer, which I don't know that I've really found a primer that I absolutely adore. There's some that work pretty well. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I do, I used to love the hourglass, but I'm finding as my skin is getting drier, it doesn't work as well, the mineral veil, but they do have the other one that I use the whole bottle of, which is the serum one, um, and I do like that. I may end up going back to that. I've tried so many different primers. I should do a primer video and rank them, um, but I think for today, I'm just going to go with Nick with the e.l.f. I mean, it's not bad. It really isn't. Um, very inexpensive. And um, a little goes a very long way. I really just kind of take my fingernail and take the tiniest little dab and um, rub it in my hands and then just kind of press it into my skin. I also recently tried the, um, what is this? The Danessa Myricks, the Yummy Skin. I don't know. The jury's still out on this. I've used a little bit of it. Mm. I don't know. I felt like it didn't play very nicely, though. I felt like I saw some flaking and peeling and, I don't know, my pulling away from my makeup. And I just haven't been more willing to try it again recently. Because I can tell I've cried it a few times. And I don't know. I think one time it worked okay. Hmm, should I put on? No, I'm not going to put it on. We're going to stick with what we have. Okay, so that is how I prep my skin in the mornings. Now for the evenings, it's fairly simple. Maybe, I don't know. You might not think so. Um, usually I just wash my face with CeraVe or I'm just, I'm not very particular about what I wash my face with. Maybe I should be, but... I don't. I mean, it's just to get the makeup off. Um, I love Sephora's makeup remover because um, it's inexpensive. It works really well. I wear a lot of eye makeup. Doesn't burn my eyes. It's amazing. That it's a bomb. Um, but um, usually I go in with the ordinary um, glycolic acid. This stuff is probably my I don't know seventh, eighth bottle. I do love this. I put this on first. Um, and then I usually follow that with my tretinoin, which um, I did, I do get from a doctor. Um, I've done the Curology before and I, it felt like it was just really expensive. And this tube lasts so much longer. It's so much cheaper to go with the prescription. Um, I'm telling you, if you can get, if you can get a prescription for it, it's so much better and it's so much cheaper. This is last forever. Um, after that, I like to follow up with my niacinamide. 
again, by the ordinary, I like to mix and match stuff, you know, I don't really like relying on one product for everything, so I go in with my niacinamide, sometimes I'll do the, the marine hyaluronics from ordinary as well, that works really nicely, um, and then I, my live to die for and i'm sure you must know this everyone in the world must know this because it is so hard to find this on the ordinary website in fact the last time i bought this i think i got it at ulta i bought two bottles which is the retinol um the retinol 0.5 and squalene this i don't know i just really love it and i feel like it works um I notice a difference when I don't wear it and so I've been using this now for a couple of years and I'll just add a couple of drops on my face press it in um, along with some rose hip oil which I bought some at Amazon recently but usually I go with the ordinary on that as well and then one of the last things that I'll do uh, before I put on like my moisturizer is some type of oil and um, I've recently been using this virgin marula oil again from ordinary I like it it works nicely and then as I said, I've really gotten into the refer. And you know, I don't know if I mentioned, but it comes with this little thing that you put on the end and you roll up the tube. So you don't like, you don't waste anything, right? You don't waste anything. And I just, oh, I love it. And I'm telling you, it is just, oh, it, it reminds me of La Mer. It really does. The consistency, the texture. Um, I should look on the ingredients, but I don't have, any more La Mer, which I don't buy it very often, maybe once a year, if that. I don't think it's even been a year since I bought it. But this stuff is awesome. I just love it. So that is the morning and night skin routine. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. I do firmly stand by all of these products. This is not paid or sponsored. Um, I have tried everything out there. I'm telling you, there is probably nothing. If you want to put in the comments, give me some, some different products. I have probably tried them, especially if they are for aging skin. Um, I have tried it all. And um, I think that's why I stick with Ordinary because it's and expensive and I feel like I'm getting the ingredients that I need and I can mix it and do it. Um, I do still like a really good moisturizer though, which is why I'm in love with this refer. You've got to try this. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do usually put a little bit of the rebalan rebalancing essence on um, at night, sometimes at night and in the morning. I'm, I'm The verdict's still out on this. I love the bottle. I just think the bottle's so cool. Um, and it's got niacinamide in it. It's got meadow foam seed oil, glycerin. Um, I don't know. Ver verdict's still out on that. But I do love the bottle. And it's like a, a tin type, tin can type feeling bottle. I just, I love the packaging. Love, love, love it. But if you have not tried the Refer Intense Hydration Cream, and you are, if you have mature skin, you have got to try this. This is the bomb it really is highly encourage it and again not paid not sponsored just really really love it none of this is paid or sponsored um but anyway um that's it for today i hope you like my video i hope that you will please consider subscribing it helps me a great deal i am a full-time school teacher this is a part-time hobby but um you know the more subscribers the better i would immensely appreciate it if you have any feedback any questions um you know i'd love to hear what are some products that work really well for you um you know have you found something that you just feel like is the bomb as well so until next time thank you again and i hope that you have a fantastic day